being or we are live. Have fun. All right. All right. So this is the LC Smugcast. I am Larajin. Um, I'm the current LC tiering leader. Yep. Yep. All right. Anyone else? Okay. I'm Clem. <clears throat> I'm just kind of play a lot, and yeah, I'm better on Blogon. All right. No, you're not. Uh, yes, I'm elevator music. <laughs> I used to be tiering leader, and now I just don't do anything. And I'm ISS. Like I'm just some dude. I play a lot of little cop. I guess. A lot. A lot. He's yeah. almost. Uh, lot. He's going to probably get mods soon. He's almost a mod. He's almost a mod. Almost. And on that note, now that you know who we are, I guess we're gonna try and talk about the little cup metagame or tier as a whole right now. So then we can go into more specific aspects of the tier. Does anyone want to take a stab at describing it? Is you play the most, so... So the current metagame is heavily built around sand teams because while they aren't exactly the most common, they are still extremely prevalent, and every team on the ladder, or like, well, not necessarily on the ladder, but any viable team in Little Cup right now will have a good counter to sand teams, whether it be Snover by removing the sand, or the form of multiple checks such as Tortuga, Fungus, Mag Mag uh, Magnet Rise, Magmite, and other such things. Now, the reason that sand is so devastating primarily is because of the monster that is Drillbur. Yeah, totally. Drillbur is probably the best Pokemon in Little Cup right now for two reasons. One, it is an absolute terror in the sand with its ability Sand Rush. It's good coverage and the fact that it destroys everything. But even away from the sand, it is still viable because of its Mold Breaker Stealth Rock Rapid Spin set. So it makes it the best sweeper, the best, like, setup sweeper, the best just attacker, the best spinner, the best hazard setter, all in one adorable mole that this actually has a plushie of that he should get out oh, if he yeah. can find it. I actually have it right here. Oh. Damn. Totally should ban that thing. Yeah, it's really cute. Well, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's the uh, background of my Google Plus thing. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. even besides Drillbur, though, Besides sand, there are still a ton of uh, 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 hypo offense teams. Threats. <laughs> <laughs> hypo offense teams, so legit. In that, well, while Prem likes to play hyper offense, the primary team style in Little Cup would have to be balanced. It is balanced offensive, balanced defensive, balanced because offense. you base your game really. This is one of the only tiers, or in which. Type resistances are actually one of the most important things. I don't. Know. Yeah. Well, that's not like Since, not. Well, it obviously matters yeah. in everything, but like what resists <laughs> what is that. the big deal? So like you have uh, Lily, which resists every move in the game, and not Spiky. except like all things. except but, uh, fighting jump, stuff. Like the most common, uh, like Mr. common Pokemon in the game, Teal. There's Snover. That's it's excellent ground resistance. Uh, beats and water too. And water makes it a good switch in for Chinchu, Drillbur, etc. Chinchou, bro. Yeah, Chinchou. Oh, wow. Chinchou, it's fine. I don't. The number okay. one Chinchou enthusiast here. So, come on, Blair. Okay, it's fine. In any case, uh, like you, you always have to account for stuff like Murkrow and Mysterious. The two, well, Murkrow, Mysterious, and Mianfu. The three M's. Three most common Pokemon in the metagame. And you'll and find that on pretty much every team. Well, most teams. Well, at least well, one at least on every one. team. We'll generally one one in every team because... One or two. They're really that good. Well, Mianfu sucks, as far as I'm concerned, but yeah. I agree. Mianfu does actually suck. Like, but people it's not, trip out about him too much. Suck is too strong a word. Okay. <laughs> That's debatable. Nothing that cute can suck that much, but... <laughs> um. Mianfu is kind of annoying in that like, it, Murkrow, and Mischievous actually never die. Uh, Murkrow dies on like a 
only base. Yeah, only when you use life orbs. <laughs> Subroost does not die. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Subroost is a bad say. It's not killing everything. Whoa, I, I've run Subroost yeah. for the last year. And like, like every I've run team. Wolf, but like, You've run the last team. Like, like, unbanned. Same team for the last year. And yeah, I've was... actually used the same team for the last year. LC Rising. It's in the RMP archive if you want to check it out. <laughs> <It's interesting. laughs> Advertising. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the way the meta works is just it's all balanced. We have basically every threat sets up on its resist that's kind of standard and then like mischievous murkrow mischievous set checks mianfu and other fighting types like riolu the best pokemon in the game uh murkrow just sets up on everything uses substitute toxic breaker sucker punch whatever yeah and then you have the st then you have the big threats like scraggy tortoga drillber <laughs> What else sets up? I don't even know. Yeah, no one, I don't Timber. know. Do Timber. Uh, Timber. Timber. No one sets up things. I don't set up. Trifloon sort of with flying jump. <laughs> no, um, Trick Room's yeah. not even a yeah. thing. Trifloon does not count. Like, um, it kind of hits you, and then it's yeah. set up. You have yeah, the yeah, shell. <clears throat> what sets up? Solosis is pretty cool, though. Um, I like Solosis. Shelter. Shelter sets Shelter up, I guess. But on, you have, like, your most common shell smasher is Turtoga. Yeah. Definitely. And then you have, like, a Basically, you have like a few right. off offensive Pokemon, something to deal with weather, and then like a Porygon or a Lily or a Chinchou or hey, a Mischievous or that sort of thing on like every they don't team. Kill anything. They are not good. <laughs> Ignore Prem's opinion. Because yeah. It's great. Well, what happens, <laughs> what happens a lot. I don't even run okay. Snowball on any team I made. I don't like it. Okay, I don't use Snowball either. Like, what happens a lot when you're building balance is that, like, you, you are required to check the biggest threats in the metagame. And so you always end up running a fighting type because you need a way to beat Scraggy. You usually end up running Snover because it's the easiest and probably best way to beat Sand. I don't you use Snover. Running, you usually end up running Porygon or Chinchou to help beat Murkrow, which otherwise would just smash you. And then... You have to smash it both. Do, and then, due to like the stealth rock weakness there, you usually end up running a spinner, usually Star or Drober. And then from there you often run Murkrow, just because it's what fits in with the rest of that team. And then you usually have a like a last mon. And that's like what almost all balance teams run these days, whether it be volt turn balance, standard balance, no matter what, you'll run something Every similar to that. Every team basically runs Moko because there's no reason not to use it. But the thing is, the ma major thing is, at least in my opinion, is that even though so many of the po common Pokemon are actually so common... What is POS? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I don't know how you I mean, it. I can change it if you want. No, yeah, that's a washed up piece of shit if any of you wanted to actually realize what that meant. <laughs> but um, the thing about this meta is that even though like some Pokemon are so common, like Murkrow is so common, Mischievous is so common, Mianfu is so common, Riolu is so adorable, etc., like... None of them are actually broken. It's just they're really, really good and can be used in so many ways. But that the fact that so many people are using them is just a testament to how valuable they are as Pokemon. Not not like I don't ever find Mianfu particularly devastating, if any of you. I don't. But I think the big reason why there's so much centralization is because in L C there's no separate teals and OU and stuff. You can have a smaller teal but because the player base is too small, we don't have a UU, which means a lot of the Pokemon, like a lot, po a lot of Pokemon cannot be used, just because yeah. there's only one teal. Well, in yeah. In my opinion, it's got a lot to do with Eviolite. It's the problem, like most offensive Pokemon that aren't used so much, struggle with common Pokemon with Eviolite because they oh, simply yeah. don't have the offensive stats to yeah. break through. It's so, like, in, it, like deals with that completely. Like, in Gen 4, like, DPP, you had, like, a lot of random stuff that, like, could possibly punch holes in teams, especially if it got set up. But now, due to Eviolite, like, just common bulky Pokemon, like Porygon, like, Restock, Chinchou, Eviolite, Mianfu, like, a lot of things just don't have the power to break through those threats. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and then you also have, actually, a bunch of other, like... Even though there are those common Pokemon, there are still some really, really, really good ones that aren't used nearly as much as the big three. 
Um, you have, like, Fungus, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it also has Regenerator, like Mianfu, which makes it really obnoxious in every single way. Yeah, those teams with Mianfu and Fungus just Moko never didn't exist. I would actually die. Lungus. Some people put Slowpoke in there, too, oh, and it's just God. like, kill yourself, please. Like, Slowpoke isn't even that good, it's just they're so annoying to take down. Like, yeah. if Goku didn't exist, I would care about half of those. But <laughs> put, like, shit on all of them. Yeah. Boongus is not staying in on Moko. And then if they switch out something, he's dying, because Blayable's way too strong anyway. So, that's why I never cared about that. Yeah, Life Orb Murkrow just, like, punches holes in... Basically yeah. everything, like defensive teams, like even like Porygon, which it just gets too extreme. Destroys. It gets too extreme. Like life will play well. Yeah, it's, it's nothing really hard. Get too eight KO by that. But then again, like Life Orb Murkrow basically kills itself. Anyway, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. If if Crow didn't die in about two to three hits, it would probably have been banned, just because of Life Orb. We actually recently. Well, not recently. LC never changes. But the most recent suspects were Drillbur and Murkrow. And when we did vote, it was a 5-2 vote to keep Drillbur and a 7-0 vote to keep Murkrow. Primarily because while both are so versatile, if Life War Murkrow actually survived longer than two Brave Birds, then it would have likely been banned. It does. I know, I know, I know you... All three. <laughs> what? I know... Blair John and ISS are gonna agree with me. Prem probably won't, but I think Subroost is way better. It just yeah, I, I tried using Life Orb like two days ago, and it, it just I I don't know if it's just me, but I can't get it to get more than one or maybe two kills. Yeah. I, I think would it... get multiple. I don't know, like Subroost. I always got walled by Polygon, and that was right when Polygon was like on every single team, and that just pissed me off. But I just use Life Orb all the time because. Polygon actually walls it if you're not running Life Orb, and yeah, that just annoys me too much. I'm primarily a balanced player, and I don't play Volt turns, so I, I, I run Sub Roost all the time. Mixcrow, I, I think Mixcrow has its place. Like, with Life Orb, on certain teams, it can be very effective, but it's not as easy to just slap on a team as Sub Roost is. All right. But yeah, so now we try to paint like a picture of the metagame. Uh, about, um, things that I have heard, though, about problems with it are what we had described as how everything is super centralized, but like how things are so common and how you'll have like mischievous on 40% of teams and that sort of thing. And people go, Why, what is up with LC? Why is everything like that? But Prem Think mentioned like earlier... What? Think of it like Kyogre and Ubel. It's on kind every like team. Google. <laughs> That's like the worst <laughs> comparison you could possibly Ow. make, though. <laughs> it's still forty percent. Like the concept is okay. Never mind. Wait, what did you even say? He's saying <laughs> he's comparing it to Kyogre and Ubers, which is like no, go away. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but Prem actually had the correct answer earlier, and that he said LC is its own tier. We only had like. There, unlike o the O U U U R U N U structure, we don't have any split offs or any things that can take away from some of the monotony. So, like your best Pokemon will be better than the Pokemon that are inferior to it. That's just how it works. That's but why we don't I have any pioneering L C U U. That was pretty fun. L C U U was actually really fun. Uh, it yeah. it kind of, it's not an official meta game like actual yeah, U U is. It fun. But we've been playing it for fun. And it's actually kind of cool, because what else? The way LC is set up, and the way it will always be set up, Until is it's just a base. big mass of adorable Pokemon. It doesn't really have any way of splitting them up, which is slightly unfortunate. But that's just gonna kind of have to be how it works. I should make an LC tournament. I'll go post about that or something, maybe. Uh, well, we can do that. But, like, even with some of the monotony of, like, 40% mischievous on teams and that sort of thing, there are still some really, really, really good Pokemon that are not being used all that Teddy much. Teddy Ursa is great. What? Teddy Ursa is great. He and likes Teddy Ursa a lot, and Teddy Ursa is actually not that bad with, um, it has Quick Feet, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you give it, like, a Toxic Orb, 
and then like, or yeah, toxic. Or no, toxic. It, it, no, toxic is toxic so much better than yeah, flame mold. Yeah, it's never use flame mold. Flame mold is like gonna do more damage over the tone. Yeah. So you give it a toxic orb, and then like it's twenty one speed now, which outruns everything below, like every unstarred Pokemon. What? It outruns everything that has not boosted its speed. Yeah, so yeah. no scarfs, but everything else is outrun. And then it has, like, a base 140 stab facade to use. And that sort of thing, which is pretty cool. And then you also have, like, uh, Riolu, which was my personal favorite Pokemon I've ever used in any tier ever. Uh, what it does is it has Prankster, just like Murkrow and Cottony and all that. But it's even cooler because it has Copycat as well. So Prankster Copycat lets it use moves that were just used. So combine that with Protect, and it's the biggest monster in the world. What's funny is Little Cup doesn't actually use Roar on Riolu like every other tier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is I your think favorite another poke? poke that I like is Clam Pearl. I was trying that a couple days ago, and... Um, I mean, it just hits so hard, especially after a boost. Like in a long time. Yeah, yeah you can. I run. I run. Um, I mean, shell smash and then surf and ice beam, and then instead of using hidden power, I, I use either protect to block fake out from Mianfu or sucker punch to try and get around. I mean, yeah. substitute to try and get around sucker punch from Murkrow. Yeah. It, it just destroys everything. So like, what I really like is Omanyte. So you like so the thing with shell smashers and little cup. Is that like you have to have a way to get around Sucker Punch, otherwise Murkrow would just completely destroy you. Tortuga is like so common for this reason because like it can just Aqua Jet like Murkrow because it's faster than them, so Sucker Punch will fail, and it obviously can't be brave birded for like, no called. damage. Bandle. The other good thing about Aqua Jet is that it helps you get around Drillbird too, who is just like the bane of every setup sweeper yeah, ever. The bane of my existence. That's why I want to ban. <laughs> so like. <laughs> That's a bit of a biased ban. <laughs> hey, he's actually broken. As far as I'm so... So, like, anyways, like, what I use is Ammonite, because Ammonite has base 100 defense, meaning that it, even after a Shell Smash, you're taking, like, 40 to 50% from a sub smurf or a Sucker Punch, which is, like, nothing if you can get a free setup. It also has, like, cool moves in Earth Power, which, like, one-shots Rest Talk Chin Chow after Stealth Rock when you're at plus two, which is impressive considering how bulky Rest Talk Chow is. And then you can run something like Hidden Power Fire to get around Pharaoh Seed, who would otherwise just wall you. Of course, you always have Hydro use that more. I use it on like, every offensive team I make. It kills things. It does. I, I beat Timber with that. Beat Timber with what? With a Pharaoh Seed. How? I bullet seeded and leech seeded and protected until it just died. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't win. Like, Prem, Prem's clearly like he he's like twelve hundred on ladder. Like excuse me, <laughs> hey, I don't play on ladder anymore. I don't. I never got on the ladder. Like my Glico just or whatever the GXC or something was always below one hundred. Like I don't know why I played more than like a lot of people, and I still never got on that line. So I just kind of gave up on that. It wasn't worth my time. I just beat you all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, lies aside. Um. So then, like, now that... I, I understand for some of the viewers, this is kind of basic what we're going through, but I think it's important to, like, describe how things are for the tier. Now, um... Uh, while... Yes, you're the one... You're the player here that uh, plays the most, without a doubt, really, considering yeah. you're, like, every top ten alt on the ladder. Yeah, why do you how do you, how do you stay... Have, how do you keep having fun with the game? <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not like making that insulting question. Yeah, like, how do you how do you still have fun with this? Um. So, I play Little Cup. Like, I, I think Little Cup is just a fun meta game because of like the amount of plays you can make. Because in a good balance versus balance game, you're you're just gonna have a long drawn out fest of just constant prediction, and it really makes like games on ladder extremely interesting when you're playing against competent people, which is not always what happens. But it, it's a nice break from playing something like, you know, League of Legends. It's like people just yell at you all the time. Um, or, or like something like VGC, which like I play a lot too. Like, it, it, I, I don't know why. I just personally like Little Cup a lot for 
how it's played. Okay. And well, at least I personally have a lot of fun because, like, while some people think that it's boring to use the same Pokemon or otherwise, you don't actually have to use the same Pokemon because while, yes, Mischievous is really, really good, there are other ghosts, like Drifloon, which is actually really cool. But it doesn't, or, play, it doesn't do the same thing. Like, it doesn't do yeah, the same I thing, yes, do. but, like, it's still I wanna extremely, be able to... extremely, extremely viable. Like, I no. current, like, Drifloon I use Drifloon, so, I mean, it's clearly the best, that. right? Missy yeah. isn't something I think you can replace. Like, Mianku, you can replace. Moko, you can actually replace with Light Bulb Scraggy, Scraggy Ball, I kill. That'll still kill everything. But Missy, you can't replace just because it's way too bulky and it can actually yeah. kill things. Not everything actually does that. Porygon never did that. The Leaf never does that. All those standard walls that I don't like never can kill things. That's true. Stat-wise, it's just a lot better than, I mean, almost every Pokemon. And it's one of those, like, like even the bulkiest, like, the other bulkiest ghosts, like, Frillish or, I don't know, something stupid like Duskull. Duskull. Yeah, like, <laughs> don't they're so still bad. just as bulky as Mischievous, maybe, and not like, nowhere have close to as strong. Nearly as much attacking strats. Yeah. And it doesn't and have the move hole, it doesn't yeah. have the speed, it doesn't have anything. Nasty plot, which is huge. Oh, yeah, Nasty Palm is fun. Um, I mean, I, I think there are, like, cool things to be discovered. Like, I've had, like, decent success with Rain Dance Windball, which just does tons of damage with Hurricane. Like, it, it's like, two it KOs the leap, which is, like, something ridiculous. Oh, Winkle. Use LGM. That's my favorite. <laughs> Use what? Yeah. LGM, oh. the little psychic LGM guy. Is no, cool. okay. It's, it's kind of so cool strong. that it has analytics, so like everything yeah. that it hits on the switch takes an extra Die. 1. Like 1.3 five. times boost. Five, 1.3. No, it's 1.3. No, it's, it's a life orb boost. It's the same as life orb and shield ball space. But... Yeah, but what's better than LGM I have nope. found is Solosis. Nope. Absol <laughs> no, Solosis no, is absolutely no. better. No, it's really not. Solosis is I good mean, as long as you can hit the Murkrow switch with Thunder. But then, yeah, like, but what Thunder never happens, hits. Yeah, you just do that. And, and then you're like, well, I guess I lose to Murkrow. LGM is bulky enough to survive a hit. That's why I like it. Because, yeah. like, and you I can thought... actually live stuff like Shadow Ball from Mischievous and Sucker Punch from Murkrow and then kill them. You can actually live a Sucker Punch. I mean, if you're a full and health. It, it also actually gets... Well, it lives cool. in Evie Light Sucker Punch. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like That's alright, I'll just like sweep you with Drillper anyways. <laughs> um but then there's other cool things like What do I use? Yeah, what do I actually use? Um I don't even know. Yeah, I Volibee. can't remember what I use. Oh, oh Volibee yeah, is really Volibee. cool. I like Volibee. Oh Volibee's yeah. hilarious. I love Volibee. Volibee is like one of the bulkiest stupid things. It's like a mini Mandibuzz because it is a mini Mandibuzz. <laughs> but, um, Except for it can actually do things. The Mandibuzz sucks and Volibee, yeah. Volibee is awesome. Volibee is actually useful. And it, uh, what my favorite thing with that is uh, weak armor, nasty plot. That is yeah. the shit. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. Um, oh. You can actually sweep. But, like overcoat means like you don't take sand or hail damage and like sand and hail are pretty common. And also, you have enough bulk with Eviolite, like, you can just roost tox like, toxic roost stall, like, a lot of things, like... Wait, does toxic stalling expect. actually work? I've never actually been toxic stalled. It works with Vullaby, because, like, it's just so tanky. I've only been toxic stalled by EO once, and I just kind of <laughs> cried when that was happening. <laughs> oh my god, EO. Yeah. Uh, like, that was painful. I didn't even know what he was doing. <laughs> Uh, you is probably what what with his stall teams. Yeah, yeah. like that, stall you out with anything. I, in, I just like couldn't do a single thing because he just toxic and somehow stalled okay. everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why don't people use Zigzagoon? Like. Oh, Belly Zoon. That is yeah. so annoying. Like, uh, why don't people use an OU? I know we tried it in UU and it was OP as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we try in UU? I mean OU. <laughs> well, uh, Zig the problem about Zigzagoon is Mischievous exists. Yeah, but that's the main problem. I personally, I think Zigzagoon is like super underrated because 
with protect, like the new, like if you're like you run like max attack and you put everything else into defenses. Since with extreme speed, you don't need speed. So after a belly drum, you can just protect Mianfu's or Pro Gunks, I guess, fake outs, and then just one shot them back with like plus six extreme speed. So if you can if you can get rid of ghosts and steals, you just want Stunky. There's like no reason why you wouldn't run Stunky in that team. Yeah, Stunky is like complete. I win. It, against it's also so person. good in LCUU. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, LC. No, that thing's stupid. There, there's no go. There's like no good ghosts. Yeah, I so love Stunky now, destroys. but it's just so outclassed by Murkrow. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's like true. literally a hundred percent outclassed. Well, not. Yeah, um, no, because even even pursuit, which is what you would use it for to kill Mischievous, Murkrow is bulkier and stronger and faster. Well, maybe not bulkier, Candle. but it's like as bulky. So, Stonky so has like, a safer switch into Mischievous because, like, it, Missy and but, Loco, you actually have to worry about switching. Yeah. The the problem with Stonky is that like it's pretty much dead weight, and you can't even always get a kill on Mischievous since now Eviolite exists. So if it burns you, it just doesn't take damage. Which is really, really annoying. You still kill it pretty badly. If you want any stealth lock, it's not going to want to keep on switching in. Yeah. And just explode. Greatest move in that game. Without like, explosion doesn't even do damage anymore. Especially so. if you're burned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that's the problem I have. With it. It's just dead weight. Even if you kill Mistrevis, that if you kill Mistrevis, that's a good job. But, like, a lot of the time you can't even do that. No, uh, that's why I use Handle. So much more fun. Oh god, Houndour. I'll last um, Stop using Houndour. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty good on sand teams, because it's, it's like the best overkiller, because Pontiard can get two killed by HP fire, unless you're running like ridiculous EVs. So, like, Houndour, like, it doesn't fear HP fire, obviously, it doesn't care about Blizzard, and also has Pursuit to, like, hit that Snover. So it's really good on sand teams. It isn't Feel wisp. That's probably a big old issue here. Oh, big old insult. It, it does fear HP has. fighting. I mean, so. it feels HP fighting, but you have cycle punch. Just yeah, yeah. Don't suck at predicting. <laughs> but don't be bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you win. Uh, at this point, though, uh, considering we've beaten the meta game to death a bit, we can answer some of the questions that people have had for us while. Uh. Pull down. Wh what? Nothing. Yeah, uh, some people have asked some pretty good questions. Some people have asked some pretty not good questions. <laughs> so, um, Where are you getting these questions? I think let's I, start I posted with, a thread uh, about yeah, it. There was a yeah. thread on the forum. I posted a thread about it. Let's talk oh, about Mikkel's questions. Yes. Yes. Like yeah, the last one. I know we yeah, talked about it. Does Prem even play Little Cup? Uh, <laughs> that no. was one of the questions that was asked, and we have a 3v1 saying no. <laughs> wow. I play at, like, 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I mod at 4 a.m. I don't, like, actually mod in my time zone. Okay. Well, one of the uh, more recent attempts to spice the game up was to suggest a speed boost ban or suspect to bring Yanma and Carvana back into the metagame. So we kind of rejected that idea. Um, kind of messed up. But yeah, one of the questions is why? Why, did, why would we not do that or why didn't we do that? And M was the bigger a bigger player at the time, so let him answer that one. Uh, um, uh, I mean, there's no actual, like, objective reason. I think that's what I've learned in my time being in charge of tiering, is that there's never an objective reason to do anything. I, It's just kind of been how LC has been. We don't really ban abilities. It's just easier. Um, I don't know. There were a lot of, like, really solid arguments, I guess, but I kind of forgot them all already. My main problem with it was that, like, the timing of it just wasn't great, considering, like, we haven't even finished Black and White 2 updates. Like, we're about to finish them up now. And, well, like, yeah, this all for making within a band, we would have to buy everything. Like, the things that don't matter, really, that we're just updating for complete mistakes. And also, like, I, like, I agreed with, like, what EM said about how complex bands really aren't that great. And I don't really see how it's a complex band, though, but we already killed this argument enough. Yeah, well, you can go okay, read the well, forum thread on it. It's pretty 
Wow. On this note, though, well, before we we are going to answer some more questions, so don't worry. But I want to talk about X Y for a little bit and my plans regarding this and my plans for the uh, X Y in general, at least as of now. So currently, uh, I am the X Y tier leader, and I will be leading the tier for life. the next gen. What? Biggest mistake of my life. Go. <laughs> you you could come back. I don't mind. No, I'm good. But no, yeah. Like, <laughs> you can just. But, okay, I'll so just give my mods back to you. It's okay. This washed up POS quit, so it made me the X Y tier leader to the dismay of ninety five percent of Smogin users, including the shout out I have to give to Princess Bree. Um, <laughs> the best LC player. Yeah, the best LC player. But um, actually, Soge King is the best LC player. That's true. Yeah. Without a doubt. Oh Second best. Beyond a doubt. That was some good Kicked my ass, stuff. scared me. Um, but for XY, because there are um, some desires for the speed boost to come, we get banned, or for like... What I'm thinking is since, fuck it, I'm unbanning everything. Uh, really that's what I'm doing for XY. Except for Scyther, Tangela, and Sneasel. Those three are staying banned, as are Sonic Boom and Dragon Rage. But outside of those three, I'm unbanning every single thing, including Berry Juice, Vulpix with Drought, Carvana, Carvana and Yanma with Speed Boost, Metatite, everything is coming back. Because we don't know what's going on with Gen 6, so I figured why the fuck not. And I mean, we uh, will figure it out as it happens. We we might get power creeped, but no, it's we will. hopefully power not. Creep. Is more power no, we will. It it always happens. Every it's gonna happen. We're gonna have like and fairies and shit. So like, yeah. Yeah. what are well, we gonna, gonna have? Gonna be a fairy, fairy type, type move. That, we're gonna like, have like a base six hundred little cup legal Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for my Lapras Evo. That's what I want. No, like uh, Lapras pre Evo. Yeah. I, I'm no, waiting I want for a Lapras Evo, Evo, so that means I can use Lapras in Little Lapras Cup. Like we we need a Lantern Evo, Evo like, like or like a Chinchow pre Evo. So like. We why would we want to make? Why would we yeah, then you can use Chinchow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why would you want that? Because like Chinchow's the best. Yeah. So yeah. with X Y in the future, with everything unbanned, we're going to uh. Try. I'm trying to minimize bands at least for X Y because I don't like bands. Just like M, I like a bit of a simplified tier list. Uh, I, I I like things easy, so I like banning Pokemon, not abilities. I don't really like banning items, so I'm probably never gonna let Berry Juice go away because I think that's pretty dumb. But item is pretty stupid. I, I like Berry Juice. It's cool. Especially with Little Cup, is that we're a hard enough metagame to get into anyways. We have so many stupid rules like. At level 5, you can't use, like, certain level-up moves or whatever. Like, like, M and I were pretty big in Little Cup, and, like, yeah. we were using a Specs Analytic Magnemite for, like, three weeks before we realized it was illegal. Yeah. So, like, even that confuses us sometimes. Yeah. Stupid genderless yeah. piece of magnet. And, and then you have weird stuff like Dream World Pokemon. If, like, they're only, like, male or only female and they're at level 10, they, if they're only male, you can't pass it down. Like, yeah, the really stupid. Stupid. like the starters, like the starters, like there's so like, many. Well, yeah. yeah, there's no sheer force. No, you, you can use Torchic, but Speed Boost is only released at level ten. Yeah. So, you can't so use then it. you have some people who don't realize that and want to use that Torchic because he can't use Blaziken because whatever, and <laughs> then you have people that want it like people that were using like Hypnosis Bronzer before Black White Two, that sort of thing. Like the rules are complicated with Little Cup in and of themselves. EVs are really different. Like yeah. everything is, it's actually really hard to get into it. So I don't like making things that much harder. But even though you might say that like banning speed boost is not that much harder, I still think just keeping things simple, just like M thought, is the way to go. I agree. So with like that. everything's gonna. I know we have some dissenters. Like I don't think Is likes that idea. Um, uh, and I know Hawkstar hates me right now. <laughs> He's the dude that posted a thread about it. And okay, well, me, Tormando, and Hawks all kind of pioneered that idea. So, yeah. yeah. You all hate us for that, but I'm not... I, I think I'm going to... At least... I, I'm I'm going to stand by that and keep things simple yeah. and just ban pokes instead of abilities. Like, 
Personally, like, I agree with everything you said except for berry juice. I hate that thing. Yeah, berry juice is not. <laughs> I, if berry juice is broken, then we can ban it. But I don't, <laughs> don't think it is. All right, so all right. I'm going to unban it at least for the yeah, start of X. I, I don't have a problem with you unbanning it. I just want to see it reband. <laughs> I, mean, I want to use my knows. stupid Dwebel. That's what I want to do. That set was so stupid. stupid. Who even knows? I mean, we'll probably end up getting an item that heals 30 hit points. Oh. And then Munchlax will finally have something to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can you make Munchlax metal? Like, let's give him, like... A super Eviolite only for Munchlax? Yeah. Eviolite doubles your defenses like, up if I'm you're first level. stage. That actually would be pretty interesting, though. Like, if, if you were first stage, you'd get double Eviolite boost instead of 1.5. If you're, like... I, I mean, if you have, like, two Evos after you... <laughs> oh, God, two no, items? Cool. Is that no. what you mean? Oh, uh, no, oh, no! I, I mean, like, no, no okay, so I what I'm saying... No, I can definitely ban Eviolite at that okay, point. No, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let, forget it, forget it. No, if you, if they change Eviolite to... If you have two evolutions, you get two 1.5 boosts. <laughs> That's going away. <laughs> like, without a doubt. I will ban it in a second. But... Uh, Mikkel, who asked the first question that took ten minutes of our time, asked another question... Uh, he asked a few questions, which I like, so I'll probably bring up most of them. Uh, is returning to a metagame without Mischievous and Merkur a possibility? No. no. Next question. Not, not uh, we have, like, four, not even four months left. How much time do we have left? Like, XY three, is on three, October three months 12th. And a Mark week. it on your calendar, so... That was part of the thing with Speed Boost, too. too. July, August, August well, September, four. October, wait, and I'm wait, gone for July, so... Three months okay. and, like, three weeks. Right. Unfortunately, guys, or fortunately for most of us, Little Cup is staying as it is until XY. Um, next question. I told you what happens at the start of Gen 6. We talked about is the centralized... Okay, is the centralized static metagame a good metagame? We talked about why Little Cup is as it is, why it's solid. Is that good? I would say no, except that part of... The nature of Little Cup is that, due to how it is, as we've discussed, that is what it's going to be. And is it a bad thing? In itself, like, individually, I think, yes, it is a bad thing. But once you consider that, like, such a thing does bring, does bring other, like, advantages, such as, you know, having a more stable metagame, and one that actually, like, can evolve due to, like, the top threats being so common, eventually stuff will be found that does have some niche in this metagame. I, I think it does, like, bring up the, bring the possibility of, like, drastic innovations. Okay. Uh, what about you, Em? At least I personally think that I would like some changes if it was possible, but since uh, obviously that's why you like U U is really fun to play, R U is really fun to play, N U is really fun to play because you can deviate from the norm and like you have an S you can have an escalator of various Pokemon that you can use. Wow, my webcam sucks. Sorry, yeah. everyone, but um, with Little Cup we have our conglomeration of adorable Pokemon. And we have to keep them as they are, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to make the best of what it is. Unless we can if, get enough titles and then... The and we can use Prem Shitty off. LCUU. What, what are you doing? Yeah, what you just Edward, say? stop it. Oh. Especially because I don't even know how to wait, do this what, normally. No, no! Damn it! What are you it. doing? Why did you break them? Wait, okay. what just happened? Okay. Prem, come back. Is don't do anything. Oh, all right. Yeah. I, I'm I will removing your mod on nomination here. right <laughs> now. Wait, no, Prem, come back. Seriously, right, I'm the, the one right that's supposed right. to be terrible at this. Prem, the top right. I toned it on. Top right. No, I, I, the button's off. Like, like oh. it's clicked. No, no, no say, not, not uh, clear. Okay. No, no, I, I was just testing the button. Like, All right. It's clearly okay, he's back. It says it's on. Oh, there you All are. Right. Is, right. don't I, do I won't anything break it ever anymore. again. Okay, okay, I won't break it anymore. All right. Um, I talked about what will happen. Oh, M, what do you think? Uh, sorry about what. The uh, static metagame. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just kind of the way it is. Um, we could we could ban and unban stuff to shake the metagame up, but um, I, personally, I'd rather just keep playing the same metagame, even if it seems a little bit stale, just because 
Um, I, I, I don't know. I just that's how I prefer it. I guess I think it takes more skill in the long run instead of just changing things up every now and then. I mean, yeah, I agree with that because with team preview, like you can always always see like okay, this I know that that checks I'll my Murkrow, for second. example. So I have to find a way to play around that, and like with the stability of the metagame as it is, that is pretty cool because it just opens up so many ways to predict, especially in things like balance versus balance. Is there anything else? Unless you're playing Prem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, it, I could like just not even. I could press the first move every time and so be Prem. So it's not a big deal. No, I beat you every single time we played. No. Like every tournament match, I beat you. That that's just because I, I, I was just going no, nice on you. Not, I, I just wanted to see you win, be happy. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> All right, so ISS, you're next in charge now, so you get All to right. choose. What we do next. Um, I'm scrolling through these questions. Hmm. We already answered a lot of these. Let's see. Wow, he answered a lot of these already. All right. Um, All right. I guess you guys okay. could talk about the uh, potential for future side tiers such as LCUU and LCU. Oh, what, I'm sorry, what are we talking about right now? Electrolytes question, uh, Which number was? five. The potential of future side tiers such as LCUU and LCUBers. Uh, I think those would be fun to play, but I don't think they're they not would going be official. anything. They're, they're not going to go official just because there's not enough people. We yeah. barely have, not like, we're already having issues with LC. For example, the demons in the uh, TD department refused to put us in SPL. Oh. Um, yeah, that's an issue. Thanks, Ellen. Yeah, way to go. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's and then, like, these sorts, other sorts of things. We have had problems in, like, remaining legitimate in just us already. Or, like, uh, people... We've had random threads that were like, should L uh, LC just throw in the towel already? Uh, it was obnoxious. But, um, and like these sorts of things. So, regarding LC UU and LC Ubers, you can, Ubers, 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 you can play it with your friends, but we're going to have to stick with LC. Yep. We, we, and, if, uh, we, if our player base, like, exploded, I guess we could do it, maybe, yeah. but I don't see it happening soon. And I'm, for, I'm sorry for the leave. Someone decided that they wanted to lock my dog out of the house. So I had to fix that. that. Uh, uh, we had an exterminator come in like an hour and a half ago and lock the door. All right. Yeah. Okay. So Another question questions? was, uh, why did M make the horrible decision to make me the LC leader? That's not my... Uh, M, the floor actually, is yours. Uh... Another question I found was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ignoring the question, all right. Uh, a question by Corkscrew, which is, how do you make a strong team that isn't so generic, like something like Snowbird, Chincho, Murkrow, Mistrevis, Mianfu, and Drillbur, or just the Sand team? Like, um, I mean, I think, Blair, John, you could answer that question well, since you're always using kind of stuff that's not, you know, like... Just a bog standard team, but still well, is pretty okay. effective. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, I have had some issues in like my LC tutoring, in that I always end up making standard yeah. teams with the tutor yeah, or with the two Ts, because like they want them to learn the tier and they need to know some of the stuff. When I use shit, like I don't like use prem shit because that's really bad. <laughs> but yeah. um, I do like to have fun with at least the sets or the Pokemon. Like for example, my favorite Lily right now is Giga Drain, Ancient Power, Earth Power, uh, Recover. Like, I have fun with that, because Earth Power is rather cool in that it hits Magnemite and Croagunk. Okay. Cool. And then, like, I'll have... Or then, like, I just like to use some other Pokemon, like, Is has Drifloon in his main team, or I like throwing Larvesta on things, because oh, Larvesta's Larvesta the is coolest. Larvesta's so good. Larvesta's <laughs> the coolest. Yeah. Larvesta Frillish is so good. Or, like, uh, that weak armor, nasty plot vol uh, Vullaby that I talked about. Or the best. Like, I can never ha I can never get bored of a team with a Riolu. It's actually impossible. Yeah. Something for you Little Cup players out there. Try making a good True Crew team. I'm pretty sure it's actually possible. I tried that, actually. I made one last week, and it was kind of cool. Uh, Trick Room. It had a Solosis, oh. because Solosis is the shit. 
Uh, wait, let me let me pull it out really fast. I had like, Solosis, uh, Trick Room Solosis, tr Trick Room Frillish, uh, Trick Room Porygon. Then oh, I had nice. a Murkrow, a Snover, an Eviolite Snover, and a Riolu. Yeah. And it was actually a fun team. And, like, that sort of thing. Like, you just have fun with things. You're trying to discover things. Um, use, if you want, if you need to use a standard Pokemon, use a variant. Uh, use Toxic Murkrow, which has been popularized, popularized yeah. recently. When? Which is Why? cool. Is Fuck. It's, it's because really, it, really it, good. It, it nabs Lilip, it nabs Porygon, it nabs Hippopotas. And, and also, you're running, you're running you so die. many HP and defense EVs, That's and fine. you, you can just, also. Pump, you just pump. toxic through stall. You are so tanky if you... Mischievous you, if HP you fighting doesn't break your sub, for example, when you're not, when you're not running that much speed. Or, or uh, what or else or is attack. cool? Yeah, I don't really run any attack. What else is cool? Yeah. Uh... Clamp for all. Uh, Tortoga is my favorite Pokemon too. No, uh, just like use fun stuff. There are a lot of Pokemon that are viable, like Clamp Pearl Omanyte, if you can reliably take out Drillbur, or if you have like Snover plus those, or then like Pursuit Ponyard on a Sand Team to knock out Snover, or I don't know, Prem likes Houndour with a fierce, weird doggy fetish, <laughs> uh, like that sort of thing. Bio Blast literally like two shots everything like that. Isn't this really... is true. I think Life Orb Fire Blast actually Oko's yeah. Manfu. Like, it does. It, That's why... It, yeah, I, it does a lot of damage. Like, I like things that will just kill everything. I don't need... <laughs> <laughs> Another Total thing that friend. you should keep in mind when you're, you know, trying to um, differentiate your team is, like, maybe stick with just one or two Pokemon outside yeah, of the norm. Need... That sounds shitty, because, like, the point is you're trying to not be fog standard. But you but... want to have... There's a reason why those standards still yeah. take out everything standard. Yeah. For example, like I did try recently to make a team that or not not particularly recently, but I like didn't want to use any standard Pokemon ever, and I just wanted to just like have fun with it, see if it could work. It, and it kinda didn't. Like I even had to include a mischievous to make it work because I couldn't not include a mischievous. You need something that It was it, like it, it was he proof bronzer, mischievous. Stunky, Teddy Urza, Riolu, Azuril. That was Bron the team. Bronzor is pretty cool. It, it's got a couple of cool sets that aren't on site. My favorite is uh, Conline Rest Talk, which is actually That's really, on really site, good. isn't it? Or did we get rid of that? It, it's not on site anymore, but Wait, it's what? really, really good. Someone go write that up. <laughs> Wait, which one? Electrolyte. Bronzer. Electrolyte, hurry up. Ready yeah, up yeah, go do that in like a day. Yeah, Mikkel could do that in like maybe. No, give it to hours. Charmander. You'll get it done in forty-five minutes. <laughs> I can get it. Okay, we can get it done in like thirty minutes. It's just Actually, I don't. I don't know. Do we need it on site? It's annoying. I prefer. You know what not. we really, really need on site <laughs> is that Purloin set. Oh, oh yeah, god, no, we're working on it. We're working on it. Purloin yeah. is that one was cool as fuck. If you don't use Murkrow. Who's working on it? Uh, I don't even know. Scrawn, I think. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, as long. Okay. Not now uh, I'm gonna answer. Fine. I'm gonna put up some of Koma's questions. Co Matthew, uh, his questions were, "What Pokemon do you find the best? What What is the best Pokemon in the current metagame? No cop out answers. And if I had to pick a single best Pokemon, as I said, it would be Drover. That's there. my pick. We all have to so, pick a best Pokemon. I pick Moko just because, as far as I'm concerned, nothing actually stops it. If it dies and kills two things, I'm, that means I'm already winning. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, long yeah, long. yeah, but you lost a Murkrow. That's like worth like four okay, regular Pokemon. They probably Pokemon. lost... I don't know what people even run nowadays. I can't remember. Like, they lost something that was... And you say probably. you play? <laughs> Nickel was right. You don't play anymore. I do play. All I just right. can't remember what I actually like killed. Alright, so, M and Is, what are your favorites? Uh, best, not favorites. Best. Yeah, best. Um, I like Eevee Light Snover. I mean, maybe that's not yeah. the best, but it's just so good. It, it it it's almost necessary to beat Sand. I mean, it's not. You can you can win without it, but it, it just I shuts it down. I used on one team in my entire life. Yeah, and it was given to me I by Charmander. Shuts it down so badly. Involves light bulbs, rain dance, stall you. And the thing I love about <laughs> Eevee Light Snover is that is that like a lot of teams aren't prepared. 
to, you know, take an ice attack and then take a grass attack. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. People don't know that Snover can switch moves. It's actually really funny. Yeah. Yeah. I don't (laughs) account for that. It does have a lot of problems, like, you know, uh, Murkrow and Mianfu and every fighting type. But... I, I don't know, I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, Snover does have a significant amount of utilities that like yeah. complement that make up for its lack of useful resistances besides like grounded water. For me and it's it, gonna be Porygon because Vader Por- loves you right now. Vader's gonna Vader stop like, hating you now. I mean like okay, so the thing with Porygon like I it's like back like a year ago, like I started using Thunder Wave on it and since now it's like so common. But That's because it's the standard set. It, 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 Wait, what happened to you? But before that, okay. it was re- like the set was like try attack charge beam and then like shadow bore. Yeah, what the fuck was that? I that got was, really was, confused. Li- little GK swept EM60 with it. You can find logs. Shut up! Of it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I what happened to it? it and then it raised the poison heal. Switched, heal. And it, switched it, it into Shroomish Toxic, so it got poison heal, and then it just swept him. Because it charged him <laughs> up to like plus four and just like one. I had a Mianfu, but I wasn't running all that many attack EVs on it, I couldn't even two hit KO it. That's why Mian Boo sucks. <laughs> that, that was so funny. But I love that log. A log. He still I has. have it too. Yeah, I think everyone but me does. I don't have that log. <laughs> so It's a good log. Porygon. GK is a quality player. He was the winner of the most recent LC tournament. Supreme How did we let him win? He got so many activity wins. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So many activity wins. That sounds about right. And he like, hacks Lavo sp- Pawn Spawn <laughs> in the finals. That was, that was so pretty funny. hard. And then Mickle just gave up because he had exams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. It was awful. Yeah, it, like Mickle just forfeited. Yeah. But, so, and, the um, yep. uh, so the thing. What? Okay. No. So, yeah. Keep going. Go. Go ahead. No, you you were talking. Oh, I right, was right, just right. saying keep going. Right, so the thing with Porygon is that it's like when you have Murkrow and Mistrevis, like so common. <laughs> it, it's just an amazing switch into Murkrow since if you're running Prankster, you just switch in like Prankster Recover, Prankster Thunder Wave. It can't two it KO you with Brave Bird, so you just completely destroy it. Yes, can. This is true. You do get the Prankster Recover, and that is so you annoying. I always forget you know, too. You guys play that. So. Yeah. And Mistrevis, like, you can't really beat if it's Nasty Pot Hidden Power Fighting, but you can get a Thunder Wave and, like, one or two Shadow Balls on it, which Nasty basically Pot takes it out. Kill unless it has a life ball. Yeah, Prem but... is the biggest fan of Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Fighting, Shadow Sneak, Mistrevis, and it's so confusing. That was from, that was from Gen 4 like... LC. No, Alistair, he played it black and white yeah, one. Yeah, I copied That's, it, and it worked. so stupid. It worked, too. It was fucking I awful. copied it. The annoying thing, it's even worse because Mr. Vis can run so many sets that if you don't know you're playing him, you're like, all right, nobody ever uses this set. And no then all of a sudden, it's coming. like Life Orb. I I like, yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it, it can run so many viable moves. Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, like Shadow Ball, HP Fighting are staples. And there's Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, Will O Wisp, Death New on Taunt, Substitute, Thunderbolt, wow. fucking everything. Icy Wind. I normally run Sub Wind. Icy Wind. Checks most things in the game. It's pretty what? good. Sub Wisp. Yeah, yeah. Sub Wisp is pretty good. That basically beats Porygon. I take I it like back. It doesn't beat Porygon. It's not. I you take my Drober Nom back. No, yeah, yeah, Mr. Vis is probably wins. Wins. Porygon is yeah. not going to like I take it back. and can't key wave it. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. can just like, keep Shadow just Ball if you're smart. Uh, yeah, you can, but right. you're still bold okay. and you're going <laughs> okay. to like, lose health constantly. Then Koma yeah, also, a lot of installing power. Yeah. Koma also asked who's the best trainer in the current metagame, but since that's me, we're not going to continue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Garchomp for President asked, what are our thoughts on Eviolite and how it's affected the meta? I think that's a good question. Like, even though this game has had, like, Eviolite for two years, it's still good to talk about it. Because the yeah. balanced metagame that we discussed, how everything is based off resistances and switch-ins and all of that, that's all because of Eviolite. I was watching a Gen 4 game the other day, and it took, like, six three ten. minutes. Six to ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, back in my day, when we played Gen 4 <laughs> LC. Yeah, Gen 4. I mean, um, it's not the only reason that it's so different. I mean, there's a ton more Pokemon 
that are a lot stronger, like Scraggy and Timber. And um, I mean, Team Preview obviously makes a huge difference as well. But EV Light, um, I mean, it sounds dumb, but it just makes everything so much bulkier. Like in Gen 4, one of my favorite things to do was run just a, a rain team, and you would take out Snowbird, you would take out Krogunk, and that was pretty much all you needed to do, and then you would sweep. But you can't do that anymore. Like the best rain sweepers, uh, Mantike. Mantike. I guess w Wingle, if your eyes. No. Yeah, Wingle. <laughs> that stuff you can't you can't break through as much anymore. And also because there's stuff like Pharaoh Seed and... Uh, Lilip. Lilip, yeah. yeah. Storm Train Lilip. Storm Train yeah. is Dream World. Once Lilip hit Giga Drain, it hit God status. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah that's Also true. Storm Train. It, it didn't have Storm Train in Gen 4, and Water is a neutral hit, so... Yeah. That was pretty huge. Yeah, uh, Storm yeah, Drain and Giga Drain made Lilip the piece of shit that it is. Alright. Uh, but yeah, Eevee Light made things balanced. Uh... Another question was about the Pomeg glitch from Garchomp for President again. If if you don't know, um, I don't actually know what it is. And what's All the right. Pomeg glitch? Um, it's a glitch in Generation Three, like Ruby and Sapphire. And Four now. I don't know. It might it's just also, be Emerald. It's also in Generation Four. Is it really? That's, yeah, Bronzer Hypnosis is legal now. That so. was because no, that's because it. No, that's because it got oh, Hypnosis yeah, never, from never mind, Black never and mind. White yeah, Teachers. Yeah. 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 All right, Black Gen Three, Gen Three. Yeah. Ignore him. So in Gen 3, you could, um, I mean, I'm not ex exactly sure. You can Google it to All right. correct me. But um, you could use the Pomeg Berry to reduce the uh, um, health points of something. And then um, it allowed you to get level up moves on genderless Pokemon. So things like Hydro Pump and Recover on Staryu. Staryu. And, and uh, like... Try Attack and Recover on Porygon which you wouldn't be able to get legally at level 5 otherwise because they're genderless, so you can't breed egg moves onto them. This is kind of goes back to what we were talking about, how it's like way confusing as a rule set. Yeah. Other than, yeah. That's um, what we do differently than POLC, Pokemon Online, in that they just scale it down to level 5. So you can use your level 100 crap and then go down to level 5 to play it. So like they have Speed Boost, Torchic, and like, yeah. I don't know what else is there. Yeah, they're like their Shadow Tag, Gothita, and that sort of stuff. We don't do that, I want so that's why Shadow we include tag. the Pony glitch. Uh, I want that little Shadow Tag. I want it so bad. That that yeah, was the most sad. Cool. I wanted yeah. the Shadow Tag, male, Gothita, because fuck you, Okay, yeah. male Gothita. I didn't even. I thought it was a female only line. I didn't know I didn't it could know. be male. <laughs> it I just like male. every time I use Gothithel now, I have to name it RuPaul, and I just can't <laughs> help myself. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's but see. I, it, they but, shouldn't be banned. That, that's yeah. just... Yeah. I think it adds a lot. I mean, Porygon, we were going on about how Porygon is such a good Pokemon. If it didn't get Recover... It would suck dick. It would, yeah, it would be terrible. It would. I mean, it would... It, 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 terrible is maybe strong, but... It, no, it would recovery, suck. It would suck recovery, a lot. Very shitty. And Staryu would just be like a Life Orb Sweeper, and that n not a very good one. You wouldn't even be able to use Rapid Spin, would you? Oh, you yeah. might be able to. No, do that. Yeah, you would. That's not, that's, a, that's an egg move. Like, it's Staryu. Alright, uh... Can Staryu do anything that they can? Scarfed Gary Busy message, uh, asked me on PS, um, wh uh, what's the most anti-meta Pokemon as of now? We talked about the best Pokemon, we talked about our favorites, what's good, what is the most anti-meta? And if I had to pick, I'd say Timber, because fuck Timber. That's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I like t Timber primarily runs Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, and Payback. Some people use, like, Ice Punch or Rock Slide, Who but they're wrong. It? Sleep um, Talk. Ow. Who wants Sleep Talk? Wait, Sleep Talk? To help I, you beat what? It's like... pretty cool. Why would you use sleep boost? top on your timber? So you do you get a guts boost? Sleeps. You get the guts boost, like, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's point. That's pretty okay. cool. Then what do you I'm use? Like, drain works. punch, mock punch, payback, sleep talk? Yep. The yeah. thing about that is Fungus is one of the best counters to timber, which is really annoying. Fungus and, and is also one of the stupidly anti even with sleep talk. Yeah, you're not going to be able to beat it still, even with sleep talk. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, you might consider it, it like ice cool. punch over payback or something. I think. Yeah, that and then be, like that, that will way. probably be my anti-meta pick number two, Fungus. Yeah, uh, I pick. I say Timber is the cool. most because like it's stupidly bulky, so it can live like any one hit, like even sub roost Murkrow Brave Bird. Yeah, see, I think right. It can live that. Yeah, I can. When at max. Yeah, at max health, it can even live that of all things. And then like it's it not hits hit everything with Drain Punch Ball. and heals up. 
Mock Punch hits Shell Smash Turtoga. It hits uh, Weekend Drovers. It hits that sort of crap. And you have Payback to hit Missy on the Switch and, like, everything. It, it doesn't die. And it checks everything at least once. My pick has to be Why Not? Because it's <laughs> actually why not? seriously I love pretty that cool. One. That, actually, yeah, I, I took a team from Charmander that was like a sand team with Why Not, and it worked pretty well. Why Not? So yeah. stupidly annoying. Like, Why Not Sand is like. If why you not don't sand get is broken. frozen, oh my god. If you don't get frozen, you can beat Snover. But yeah, like, Warren Barry lets it not get to it KO'd by Snover Blizzard after uh, Hail plus Stealth Rock. So, and like, it, it switches be. in, Oran's up, back to a range where it can take a blizzard again, mirror coats the fucker, and then it's dead. It is very dead. But the problem is, um, Eviolite Snover, because then it can yeah, ice shard the mirror coat and that. then kill you a blizzard. Yeah, but who actually runs out that, that side? Oh, uh, Eviolite, Eviolite Snover is cool, man. No, I like, like Eviolite Snover. No that, I would say, is another anti meta pick. Snover yeah. itself is common as fuck, but Eviolite Snover is amazing. Like, it's not used, that's what I mean. Like, it's a good set, but no one really uses it. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, I guess picks. another thing, maybe, uh, I don't know how common it is anymore, or how Yellow. good it is anymore, is uh, Larvesta. You mentioned Larvesta's it. insane. I, Larvesta's the best it's Pokemon. Like a hard Mianfu counter. Nah. I mean, if you want the best Mianfu counter in the tier, you have to use Grimer. Yeah, Grimer is actually another really, really anti meta I've thing. tried that so many times, and I can't get it to work. I, I know can't get it to work either. Cool, it's because Grimer's HP is too high for gold. Pain Split to work. And it doesn't have any other recovery, yeah. I, I have so much trouble with that with Pokemon that don't get recovery. Maybe yeah, just same. Pokemon, totally wall, but... like, half this game. Only reason if Grimer had recovered, then this game would be insane. Like, if uh, Mianfu didn't have a gen, it would be the most, like, shit tier fighting type. I still like Reckless, bro. Reckless okay. Scarf High Jump Kick. That's cool, but I don't think... Yeah. Once, no, once you, once once you high like jump kick the Mistrevis... You, you don't high jump kick the Mistrevis, that that's the point. <laughs> I don't even think any of it's... That's not what you do. I don't think any of its stats are above 50 in bulk. <laughs> that's true, yeah. Like, it's yeah. such a bad bulk, I mean, only... Only Regen keeps it walking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I, I'm getting a bunch of more questions. Um, well. One of how okay from Chalarmi, uh, how significant was the effect of the black and white tutors on the LC meta? Well, they um, did yeah, no, they did, they did, they did. They, they gave did have a, Giga Giga Drain. Have a good That was yeah, awful. Yeah, like Giga Drain, Lily. Oh, okay, uh, that was. What YouTube? else was there? Giga. Uh, Wait, no, Giga Train Lee Leap was already there. No, it wasn't. Was it it no, had it energy balls. Yeah, it wasn't oh, okay, yeah. Quite one, though, is it? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because uh, it was like one of those things where like you could get Giga Drain in Gen yeah, yeah. 4, but you could only get Storm Drain in Gen 5. Which is kind of yeah. stupid. Um, but, what else was there? Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't think like the, the significance of the tutors wasn't much. Oh, it gave Bruce Giga Archen. Drain Bruce Lee Leap. Archen. That was a good one. Not really. Know, it was mostly the Dream World abilities like on Gen 5. <laughs> no one cares about Archon. Oh, it gave a. Oh, what else happened? Is we, good. Got, we got Stealth Rock like Drill Burr. Yeah, Stealth Rock Drill that's, that's probably the biggest. We and got Stealth like, Rock Drill Burr. Stealth Rock Archon. Stealth, stealth, stealth Rock Archon. Stealth Rock Archon. Stealth Rock So the Stealth uh, yeah, Rock Drill were big. Meta, Giga metal. Drain was big. Uh, I don't think we got anything else. We got. Uh, we got like the elemental punches. But no, no one no. cares. That doesn't, really, <laughs> that doesn't do much, aside from the random ice punch on yeah. the other. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, oh, we got like the elemental punches on Timber, but no one cares. Um, There's no one listening to me? Yeah, right I think that's about... it. I'm listening, Prem. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Sorry, Prem. Please speak. Yeah. I'm just talking knockoff. Like, half the meta got that. Oh, yeah. This is true. That's, oh, that's no, that is also insane. big. Uh, like, knockoff knock Scraggy is, is fucking insane. Yeah, that is really, really annoying. Yeah, knock and Little Cup knockoff, as, as it's generally useless in the uh, higher tiers, since it knocks off Eviolite, it basically does so much damage to everything now. So things like basically Scraggy, which now. Like, dra yeah. Scraggy only needs Dragon Dance, Drain Punch, Crunch, and then Filler. So if you use the filler knockoff, Mianfu comes in, then you knock off its fucking Eviolite, and then Scraggy goes to town on the rest of the game. Or... Yeah, yeah knockoff is good. Stealth Rock, knockoff, and... Alright. Oh, um, Watch this. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, like, we, uh, I think we have to uh, wrap this up relatively soon. Uh, we apologize for delaying the time. We were having technical difficulties. Fuck you, M. <laughs> um, this guy did not know how to make a mic work. But yeah, that uh, what I did want to talk student, about... To get that trait, all of the student. Okay, what I did want to talk about, though, before we, uh, before we left, talk is uh, some of the forum projects that we have going on. We talked about the meta and asked a lot of questions. But I also want to... Like, if you guys want to get involved with Little Cup, we have... We have a lot of things going on in the forums right now. Smoggin.com slash forums. Okay, that's not even a link. I'm yeah, that doesn't even No, mean. I thought slash little cup for no, a second. Slash forums, slash. What are you guys linking? Why am I Nothing. It was just forum display that PHP question mark F equals 161. Um, what the hell? We have a lot of cool things that are going on. Uh, we have like a thread about like team building competitions. And we have something called the LCPL, the Little Cup Premier League, which, like, all the other tiers are doing. It's basically, like, an SPL with our own individual tier. That's kind of fun. Like, we all know Chin Chows are the in. best. Like, Chin Chows are the best, guys. I've been, like, not subbed in this whole time. You're subbed in next round. Vader told me to. Yeah, okay. Chin, Chin Chows are the You're best. You're in next no. round, okay? We have yeah, a dude. bunch of teams for that. And then, like, a variety of forum projects that are actually great because, for the first time, the LC forums are actually pretty active, which makes me happy because people are actually contributing. And we have like a lot of articles on site. We have a lot of analysis. We have CNC. Yeah, CNC has been pretty active. This week. I don't even know what that means. Contributions and corrections. What is yeah. that? What does CNC even stand for? I don't even contributions know. Contributions and corrections. Okay, so I was right. Okay, I don't have to get my mods <laughs> revoked now. Um, <laughs> Can we revoke them anyway? And we have a bunch of analyses on Pokemon. Like, we all have these on Smog, and everyone does. And then, um, one thing that's cool is the Little Cup Hub that M has been working on with Charmander primarily, which he can talk about. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if the hubs are ready for a complete release yet, but you can check out ours at uh, www.smogon.com slash tiers slash LC. You might have to put a slash at the end of that, too. Um... We've added a lot of stuff to ours. Um, it has a list of most of the forum projects that we're doing, uh, current news, um, a Hall of Fame for tournament winners. Uh, basically, it's just a hub for uh, Little Cup activity. So if you're ever looking to try and get into the tier or checking out what's new, you should check it out. It's pretty Is cool. there any way we can put a link in? Uh, you, you're asking the guy that couldn't get a mic. I wasn't asking it. you. Uh, I'll just put it in my title. In case people is, is anyone going to see that? So, like, if you really want to see it, the, it's right Guys, there. No one talk. Right yes, there. go. So, it's right there if you want to. It's blurry as fuck, though. No, there it is. Okay. So, it's, like, right there. Is that yeah. the link? That is the link, but you can't click on it. Yeah. I hope but you like all the artwork whatever. that people contributed. It looks pretty Why cool. Why would I ask I you like draw it. things? I can draw things. Okay. Can you draw things? Can you draw, like, Mackle? <laughs> I can draw better. All you have to do is draw a giant pair of lips, and then you have Makel. I have an old thread. You guys can look at that shit. I'm pretty sure I linked you guys that before. Uh, wait, no, that, is that? Are you sure that's the link? Yes, uh, it's not yeah, working for me. Put the last slash. Put the slash. Oh, put the last. Not the, the last yeah. slash. You do have. That, to that's put the, the slash weird part about smog, and it doesn't auto complete. We should probably talk. Someone to talk to Chaos about that. It's annoying, but, but if you remove okay. the last slash, right nothing I'll, works. Everything so, breaks. Basically, to wrap things up, um, oh, one last question, then we can wrap things up. Uh, people were talking about balance. Be well, we were talking about balance being the primary play style. Uh, user Namso slash OU on PS uh, was asking about other meta game, like other archetypes. Like Prem likes hyper offense. Do how do people use like heavy offense or stall in the tier? And we can talk about that in, like, a little bit before we wrap up. Obviously, sand is the big one, but that's so usually... Okay, Prem, talk about how you run offense. offense. My logic is just, like, the biggest problem is that things can set up. So my logic is I just have to kill them before they set up, which works pretty well in all reality, because if you run a lot of knockoff and you kind of try making it back into Gen 4 LC, you can kill everything in one total, no problem. Like, there's no problem killing that. Yeah. You can just set up, 
And I'm if pretty sure that, Houndour Oko's Lilip without Eviolite. Yeah, it does. Right. Houndour kills everything without Eviolite. That's probably a lie, but whatever. Yeah, no, I swear. Eviolite gives so Eviolite makes everything not die in one hit. That's why. Hold on, no, I'm calking this now. That's why Elekid sucks, cause. Elekid is not even Elekid a Pokemon. Elekid can't two it KO things. If Elekid could two it KO things, it would be. Yeah, good. it's out Eviolite two it KOs everything. That's the point. If you just want a lot of what, knockoff. Like, what is Lily? Max is uh, 116. Just use the, the Honko one. I don't like, use Honko. Also, like, oh my god. Okay, so moving away from Hyper I kind of just offense. set up without a purpose of setting up just so I can deal more damage. That works as well for some reason. Like, I don't tips. have to sweep them with Swaggy. I just need to kill something. Turn with Sandstorm off. Yeah, it's 65 no, it's to 80. It's percent man. That's good enough. Uh, all right, all right. Two stealth walk switches, switch-ins. Yep. Well, M wants to talk about more defensive builds. Um, yeah, we can they are try. Good. Yeah, I mean, a lot of... I don't think it's common at all anymore. I don't think it's ever been common. It's kind of hard to run really, really defensive teams. Um, just because there's... I mean, the threats that are there are so high-powered. Like, stuff like Murkrow, you're forced to run... Maybe like one of the two or three Pokemon that can hard counter it, so it, it's hard to run defensive teams. Um, one of the most important detriments to that is the fact that we are actually using EV Light on everything because that yeah. means we don't get leftovers recovery. So when we have to switch in like a Porygon onto a Murkrow, drop in the Stealth Rock, take a Brave Bird, and then it can either recover. Or if Murkrow double switched into like Mianfu, which U turns out of that on the Porygon switch, you're taking a lot of hazard damage and without time to recover when you have offensive teams such as that of Prems. Well, you just so, don't have to switch and just like kill the Mopo with like. Yeah, well, you shut up. But. <laughs> First off, so, like, things die. are difficult to keep healthy in Little Cup with all hazard damages and sand and hail being very common. If you don't have time to recover, you will die. So more people tend to pick a balanced build with either offensive or defensive elements that allows them to play as they will and don't yeah. get auto-screwed if, say, Scraggy has knockoff. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Even when I'm trying to build defensive teams, I'll end up throwing, like, a, like a Scarfer or two on, or, like... A Scarf yeah, Pro. Best, best cleanup. Yeah. 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 So, we've talked about how we're going to do XY in the future. We've talked about current LC. Uh, we're all looking forward to XY, and we really can't wait for the changes and how this is going to work. Uh, LC contributions and corrections are going pretty well. If you guys want to contribute or look at any of the analyses or articles we put up, that will be great. We have resources on site. It's in the LC section of Smoggin Forums. We have an introductory article and a lot of uh, resources and rules and all that. And we just hope to see you guys playing LC with us. And join, uh, what uh, is that, hashtag Little Cup on yeah. SinIRC? Is that a hashtag? That's a hashtag. Yeah, it is. That's what it is. Or, yeah. Yeah, it's a hashtag. It's not, it's not a hashtag, it's just a it's hashtag. It's a number sign. It's <laughs> a hashtag. It's not a tag, but that. whatever. Join. We're always welcome. We always yeah. welcome new We're people nice to people. chat. We'll help you build teams and test teams. Yeah, we we all really because we have such a small player base. We really like talking to new users. So like us, we're on IRC a lot, and we will help you out if you have any questions. If you, there's an and there's a guide to IRC on the Smog and Made page too. So we hope to see you all in Little Cup and contributing and posting in the forums because it's a lot of fun and we all love the tier. That's why we're still here. Yeah, thank you much. I think uh, we are. Done. Uh, we are done. Uh, Ellen has to go. No, uh, yeah, and he has to disconnect us, so we need to stop talking.